Hey folks, welcome to the very first episode of Catholic Book Guy. I'm your host, Brian, the Catholic Book Guy, and I'm going to be reviewing Catholic books, discussing their contents, as well as all things theological and philosophical. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, so for our first episode, I'm going to be reviewing the Augustine Institute's Bible in a Year. So I got this back in December, I believe, and I started it on January 1st. It does start January. It is a daily, well obviously it's a daily Bible in a Year, um, but the layout is perhaps a little different than some of the Bible in a Year programs you may have seen in the past. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what it looks like. The English Standard Version, or ESV, is an updated version of the Revised Standard Version, or RSV, which is a modern translation based on a chain of English translations going back to the King James Version of 1611. The ESV is based on more recent critical editions of the biblical texts in their original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Crossway, the original publisher of the ESV, has noted that it utilizes an essentially literal translation approach which could also be referred to as formal equivalence. This approach is opposed to dynamic equivalence, which is a sense-for-sense -sense translation, which in effect renders more of an interpretation rather than a translation. I make no claims to be any kind of expert on biblical translation methodologies. Nonetheless, from a layman's perspective, I can see the appeal of preferring formal over dynamic equivalence. In my estimation, the dynamic or interpretation approach leaves a lot of room for personal agendas to be injected into Scripture. As a Catholic who doesn't believe that Scripture is self-evident in all senses, I applaud the essentially literal translation because it allows the words of the text to come through as closely as possible to their original languages. Then, authentic interpretation can be left to those with the knowledge and or authority to do so, i.e., the magisterium of the church. At any rate, within the Catholic Church, the ESV Catholic edition was initially adapted and adopted with Crossway's permission by the Catholic Bishops' Conference of India and approved for use in the lectionary after a thorough review to ensure Catholic orthodoxy. So we've had a chance to look inside and talk about the background of the ESV and the ESV CE. And we know then that the Catholic Bishops' Conference of India has approved it and adopted it as the translation for their lectionary. Um, in the U.S., however, uh, we are not using it for their lectionary. We're still using the NAB. But uh, nonetheless, the Augustine Institute has made this translation available to us. And to my knowledge, the Augustine Institute's the only publisher that has put out the ESVCE. To my knowledge, there could be others. But uh, as far as I know, it's just the Augustine Institute. So they're kind of the proponents of the ESVCE in the United States. Uh, at any rate, the Augustine Institute pro points out three main areas that uh, make the ESVCE a preferable translation. Um, they point out three main attributes. One, that it's trustworthy. Two, it's readable. And three, that it's precise. Um, as far as its trustworthiness, the Augustine Institute says that the ESV Catholic Edition is approved by the Catholic Church. Drawing on recent architectural discoveries, the ESV Catholic Edition is translated directly from more reliable manuscripts of the biblical books than older English translations. It also seeks to better reflect the Church's theological tradition, emphasizing the unity between the Old Testament and the New Testament. This is, of course, verbatim from their website. And as far as the readability aspect of it, they say that while the ESV CE offers readers a more precise translation of the biblical text, it is also recognized for its beautiful, accessible prose. Instead of using archaic English, its clear and elegant English offers readers a fresh perspective of God's Word, enabling the Bible's meaning to come alive for readers in new ways. And finally, as far as its precision goes, they note that Faithful to the meaning of the original Hebrew and Greek, as well as Aramaic, I assume, this translation offers readers a more precise rendering of the actual words, language, and images used by the biblical writers. It seeks to translate the Bible's meaning word for word rather than through a general paraphrase. In this, the ESV CE follows the translation percent principles set forth in church documents such as the Tergium Authenticum. So there you have it. The Augustine Institute then, I think, has provided a, 
a good background and given their reasons why this is a not just a good but perhaps a preferable translation i certainly am enjoying reading it for my daily bible in a year and i'm currently on day 122 and um you know i did start on january 1st and the layout as you might have noticed from the pictures earlier it's a it's a very simple layout it's one day at a time you've got an old testament reading a, a psalm some wisdom literature and then a reading from the new testament now of course the old testament readings are going to be longer than the new testament readings there's a lot more of that to get through um, nonetheless it is what i would this it was what i would refer to as maybe a kind of a no frills bible in a year not to say it's there's no value in it but it's no frills in the sense that it's just you know it's plain grayscale text there's no color other than you know on the cover and it is a very nice cover but uh, the inside the material it's just the biblical text and then a brief reflection at the end of every day's readings so um in that aspect you know like i said no frills um there are no there's no commentary for anything there are a few footnotes here and there but there is no overall commentary like you might find in other versions of the bible in a year uh, especially for example the ascension press great adventure bible which is what i did last year um, and it was great i loved it tons of good commentary there it's divided up into different um, biblical timelines and there's just excellent commentary um, but again you know depends on what you're looking for if you're looking for the no frills you know everything's laid out for you then this is the way to go um, again you know the the um, great adventure bible it's wonderful um, the only thing i didn't like about it was just it has a reading plan and then you have to look them up which you know we all know how to look up bible passages but um you know if you're in a hurry you know you can just grab this and you put your bookmark in and you know that you're on day whatever and you're reading it right there for you um but in that case then you know you wouldn't use this you wouldn't use this version to look up specific verses you know you want to go to another just a, a regular bible as opposed to a bible in a year um but at any rate so you know as i mentioned i would definitely recommend the augustine institute bible in a year if you are looking for something that's kind of no frills everything's laid out right there and you can just open up and go um, so i'm enjoying it i'm gonna you know i'm gonna finish the year out with this one and i may even very well use it next year i do enjoy the esvce um, for the reasons that augustine institute has laid out uh, I still, you know, I still like my RSV and I even like my Dewey Reams, um, but the, either the RSV or this ESVCE, that's what I'm reading the majority of the time. So, um, you know, very good translation. Um, the, you know, there's some updates, obviously, with the ESV, as mentioned. Um, but, you know, if you stick to that RSV, ESVCE tradition here, uh, you can't go wrong as far as english translations go so you know um i'm not going to rate it you know one out of ten i'm just going to give it an endorsement and say that this is definitely a good product and, and i know that augustine institute puts out lots of quality products um, you know and i mentioned the great venture bible too is ascension press does some great stuff and i'll inevitably be reviewing some of their products at some point but uh at any rate i think you can get this for maybe 30 on amazon maybe 35 directly from augustine institute so um yeah you know check it out if you're looking for a bible in a year thank you for watching the first episode of catholic book guy please do subscribe so that you can be alerted whenever i release a new review